Karita Gardner here and today we're going to talk about the color palettes in Illustrator. So um, I'm going to show you a couple of different places that you can go to change your color. But before I get started, I wanted to make sure you knew about my free webinar called Make Money Doing Something Creative. If you've been looking for some strategies that designers use to make a lot of money, you need to go check that out. It's totally free. You can go get it at KarinaGardnerCourses.com. The second thing is we have a boot camp coming up. Make sure and go check it out. It's only $17. It's one week of amazing content, including lots of strategies for becoming a designer and making money as a designer. So go check that out at KarinaGardnerCourses.com as well. All right, you ready to get started? Um, so I have a artboard open and let me just click right there. Okay, let's just go take a look at the two different places that I like to use. There are other places, of course, but this right here, your fill and stroke is really my favorite spot for choosing color. So if you double click on your fill right there, you will get the color picker. This is an amazing tool, you guys. So you can set it up to only web colors. I never do. Or you can uncheck that and just use this color picker the way it's meant to be. So white in the corners, black on this end, true color hues up here in this corner, okay? So you can move around this way. If you wanna find colors with the same kind of dynamics, you can move this picker down, up, or down and you'll notice that the color you're choosing is right here so it has the same amount of color and white and black does that make sense to create that color okay and you can even check out the color swatches they've got going on here so if you're struggling to find a color that you like you can come play in here as well okay all right that is my favorite place now the second place you can go is go to window color and you'll notice I get a pop-up right here. Now, of course, you could also go to swatches, but this is easier for actually finding color. That was the other place I was thinking of that you could go play around with color. So if you have your picker right here, you can move it around right here, and you can see that the color changes right here up, the, up at the top. Pretty easy, right? You can also use your black, white, and none, and you can move your stroke or your fill to the front. So this is just a nice, concise way to find your color and change it around. It also allows you a little more, um, just help, more detail oriented. Like say you know you want a little bit more cyan, you can push this one, more magenta, you know, pull it back or forward. Does that make sense? So you get a little more um, control because you have sliders right here. You do have numbers on the main color picker down here when you click on it and open it up, but you have to type in those numbers and kind of figure it out, okay? So I love this because I think it's a fun way to control the color if you are trying to do something very specific. And that's it. Super easy, right? So if you're new to Illustrator, you can also check out my free intro to Illustrator class. That's just on my website at KarinaGardner.com. So go check that out. Um, I, I was gonna say KarinaGardnerCourses.com. You can go get it at either of those places. They're all connected. And uh, I hope to see you soon.